Rosie, why have we um, bought lovely hammers and why are we wearing protective goggles? Just to wait and see. Hello. Hi, guys. Are you Byron? I am, yes. Yeah, Byron is a fossil hunter. Are we fossil hunting? Yeah. Yes! We're going <laughs> fossil hunting. <laughs> Whitby's beaches are chock full of old fossils. And I'm not just talking about the OAPs on coach trips. Byron starts by showing the team what to look out for. It's quite technical, but in brief, rocks. You can see part of the fossil sticking out, and then we can tap it open with a hammer and chisel, and hopefully it pops open like that. If they're lucky, they could find one like this. It's worth over a grand. Crikey! Whoa! What the hell? Can I have that? <laughs> can you have it? Yeah. Please. We we can we can Please. probably come to some agreement. She will. Um, she has a hammer. Yeah. <laughs> Fossil hunting trips are twenty pounds for adults and ten pounds for kids. You might think it's just about hitting rocks with a hammer, but that's only ninety percent true. You can also hit the rocks with a chisel. Here's a couple of small bits of fossil just here. Already. Yeah. They're only small, but they but they are fossils. Part of an ammonite there and some uh, bits of belemnite. Do they need whacking? Those, those ones are a little bit too small. OK, OK. I've, I'm having no luck. All I keep finding is, like, diamonds and money. Joe, look over there. Aye, aye. Find me a pterodactyl. Ideally, because it's in my show. I want to find all the fossils. That did not happen. But I think I found a fossil. Shall, shall I come over and have a look? I'd love that. How's the fossil hunting? Uh, does this answer your question? Rosie, look! Did you get it? Look! I had no idea we were going to find one. I thought he was full of crap. Genuinely, look. We found what looked like a normal pebble. I whacked it, and inside it was a curly one. You found yeah. that. Yeah. Is, that, is, one of those that is actually amazing. Really proud of Thank you. Me. I'm sort of really proud of me. That fossil you've got there, Joe, you're the first person in 180 million years to see, see that fossil. I'm sort of emotional. Genuinely, it's mad. I was moved, you know. I think you say this, but it was like Princess Diana's funeral. But positive. I'm going to show you one more time. Yeah. Yeah. I've seen it. One more? No. There's no time to celebrate Joe's tiny achievement. Our heroes are taking to the high seas in search of adventure, excitement, and most importantly, fish. That was impressive. Oh! We're in Whitby, we're by the sea, so we're going to catch loads of mackerel. Why would you ever buy fish when you can fish fish? Look at that! Fishing towns are beautiful, but they stink. A guided fishing trip will cost you £20 for three hours, and there are all-day options, too. The fish don't have to pay anything. Freeloaders. You know, we're in the open ocean now, and uh, my panic attack's starting. What's the name of our captain? Tina. What? <laughs> oh. Tina. <laughs> I'm not comfortable with calling her Tina. <laughs> <laughs> now they're in open waters, it's time to get fishing. All right, I'll set you up. If I just lock down from there... Yeah. ..just nice and steady, if you just lift it up and down. Uh, I am a keen fisherman. Um, I think if I had my time again, I'd be a man of the sea, a seaman. Probably the most comfortable I've ever felt in my life, just me and um, Tina and Rosie there, but, you know, cos I was big girls by him. What does that do? Why do we pull up and down as it's it the vibration in the water? See the film jaws of a young lady oh, yeah. splashing around. Yeah, Don't mention <laughs> jaws! 
you only have to travel a few miles from the Whitby coastline to find the perfect fishing spot. And on a good day, you might see seals, whales, or even dolphins. Delicious. So right there, isn't it? Come on, event. No. Come on, fishing! <laughs> Not a lot happened. I don't think fish like us. Oh, it's fair enough. We're all trying to stick a hook in their face. I'm starting to feel Oh, it would have, you know, it would have been nice if Rosie retched a lot less. I'm feeling very sick. Way, way, that way, that way, that way, that way. Oh. With Rosie's sickness getting worse and indeed louder by the minute, it's back to the shore. Yeah, when Rosie said we're going on a fishing trip, I didn't think she meant seven and a half minutes. Oh, they gone to the chicken. At least we got a hat out of it. Great hat. I don't think I got sea legs, but then I haven't got land legs either. Hi, right, Rosie, Saskia at Channel 4. I'm just a Sunday brunch. Now, how did the fishing scene go? Oh, I nailed it. That's a guaranteed. It was a disaster, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 Hang on. The boys are here. What? Saskia, Sunday brunch in Mongolia. Brilliant. Audience would love it. Brilliant idea. <sighs> no, that's a terrible idea. Another terrible idea. R Rosie, I'm going to have to go. The boys are being difficult. Now, whatever you do next, make sure it delivers epic visual scale, yeah? Oh, definitely. This shed in the nearby village of Glazedale contains the Museum of Victorian Science. Just step this way. This is the museum. Oh, look at this. Oh, my God. Packed with 19th century gadgets, this fascinating fire risk is the work of former chemical analyst and proper legend, Tony Swift. This is the Wimshurst machine, which generates huge voltages and is just what we want for, oh, uh, for doing this. Is that dangerous? Uh, you can oh, get nasty shocks. You yes, you, you certainly it. can, yeah, yeah. Right, um, so it might be a good idea if I showed you one or two uh, activities of this. Yes, yes please. please. This is called the, the launch of the Sputnik. Three, two, one, launch. For £20 per head, you'll witness demonstrations of X-rays, radioactivity and all sorts of other things that are probably safe. This is Mr Hercules, He's a genuine Victorian. Tell me what happened. Yeah! Hey! Hey! He's coming oh! off! He's kicking off! Oh, He's showing yeah. off now. Yeah, just a bit. I'd say the Museum of Victorian Science is possibly the best thing I've ever seen. Wait a minute. Hey! Oh, there she oh, goes. Oh. There's a lot of electricity in there, and that wasn't just me and Tony, because uh, he actually, I think he hated me. So that all the electricity was coming from the devices that he'd plugged in. The monster's electrical input. That museum is so tiny, but I have everything. <laughs> Excitement. <laughs> Horror. <laughs> Great family day out. There you go. That's it, folks. <laughs> what you didn't see, there was, a, there was a lot of blood on the floor where people had obviously, in the past, had got hurt in there. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, it bloody brilliant.